I believe the best life that we're busy focusing on as a theme starts even in our families. So I want to speak about families where the best life is cultured and grown and I call those grace-filled families. So some words of advice to parents. God's intention for family is to be a shelter of grace where His purpose for each human being can blossom. God never intended that families should become factories of perfection, but rather harbors and places of equipping and resourcing. The family is God's preferred learning center, presenting great opportunities for teaching and learning for parents to use towards their children. God's truth and grace, I believe, are best taught and applied in this real life setting, in your family, where things don't always go perfectly. I find in Deuteronomy 6 verse 4 to 9 that there's very valuable words for us as God speaks through Moses and he says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength. And these words which I command you today shall be in your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children and shall talk of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way and when you lie down and when you rise up. You shall bind them as a sign on your hand and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes. You shall write them on your doorposts of your house and on your gates. So these words of life from God, these principles of God are meant to be lived out and taught and talked about in the family context. The family is a safe place and a very practical classroom where the basic lessons of life can be taught with grace. You see here in the family, children are introduced to truth, grace and great experiences. It is the place where they need to be encouraged to take their first steps in faith. It's also the safe haven where they can have the best experience of grace supplied by you as a parent. So don't aim for perfection, but rather for a revelation, for insight uh, of grace for your children that will equip and perfect them for life. Parents act as the greatest shapers of children on God's behalf. Parents, you're meant to shape and add value to your children. However, they can only give what they have received from God as parents. That's it. We need grace ourselves so that we can give it to our children. I believe that mothers are called to create a platform of peace and belonging in the home, while fathers play an important role in conveying identity and destiny to their children. Those are just some of the basic things that we need to do as fathers and mothers. See, I don't believe there's any vacancies for perfect parents here on earth, but many vacancies for just simply honest, humble parents. And parents are called to show their children how to do life with God, even in sometimes failing. We as parents set the example of how to respond in good and in bad times to success or failure. Parents are to model a grace-filled life to their children while they continue to draw from God's abundant grace themselves. So I would like to pray for you as a parent today that you'll be able to receive abundant grace from God and create your family as a place of grace where your children can be taught the best life. Let's pray. Oh Father, I pray for every parent, be it a single parent or a, a mom and a dad together in whatever uh, form or shape. But I pray, Lord, that every parent will receive today during this simple prayer a touch of your grace and that they would let that grace flow through to their children. That the home will not be a place of perfection, but a loving shaping through God's grace of our children to live the best life, knowing that for themselves, it starts with the grace that we model as parents to them. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.